All right, this short tutorial is for the service advisors who are going to be adding the estimate forms that the customers are going to be seeing. So the process is really fairly easy, but it probably would be helpful if you had a walkthrough. So that's the purpose of this tutorial here. So to start with, uh, when you log in to the WordPress backend, whether you are logging in from your uh, from your laptop, from uh, your uh, your tablet, from your phone, uh, or if you're using the app, uh, you will most likely if you're uh, if the app you probably won't start at the dashboard, but otherwise you would, your default is to go to the dashboard or wherever you were the last time you were logged in. So we're going to start from the dashboard and you are going to be creating a new page. So you'll go over to pages, hover over that and then click add new. The add new page is going to come up. What I'm going to do is give it a title. Now uh, you don't want to give it a title with the same name as the RO number. So I'm going to call this Tom's Monster Truck because it needs to be unique and be related to the probably related to the customer and to their vehicle so I'm going to call it Tom's monster truck the template that we are going to use is repair order summary if you do not select repair order summary as the template then it's not nothing is that you do here is going to work to create the template so let's go ahead and scroll down okay the customer name we're going to say is Tom tester uh, date of the repair order and we'll go ahead and select that this is a uh, it's what, when you click on this is going to give you a menu to select we're going to just select uh, today's date which is July 12th 2013 vehicle make enter the make we're just going to put in Ford here uh, vehicle model we'll call this an F uh, 350 now we'll call it a 250 F 250 the RO number, when you click uh, this down arrow here, what it's going to do is it's going to give you a list of the different repair orders that are in the system. Now, if there are a lot of repair orders, and there will be after you start using this, then when you type in the first number, it's going to only show those repair orders that have that number. Then if you were to type in the second number, it's going to show you only those with those particular pattern of numbers. So in this case, there's only uh, the one with that. Uh, or in this case, because we can see it right there, we can just select it. We don't have to start typing numbers. Either way, works. And that is the repair order that this estimate is going to be based upon. So I'm going to uh, add a VIN number. I'm just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, A, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Uh, and then vehicle mileage, we'll say it has uh, 185,126 uh, miles. Okay. Vehicle year, uh, we'll say this is a uh, we'll say this is a 2005. We'll scroll down a little bit here. Now repair order area. This is the next section you're going to have line items and you'll have five line items where you can add repair uh, items you want to keep this even though it looks like there's a lot of area here you want to keep this to what will display on one line essentially so and if you don't need to use but one line item just use one if you need two, use two up to the five so I'm going to go ahead and put something in here I'm going to put in um, uh, just just something filler for this this uh, truck needs the master cylinder master cylinder replaced because 
spell it right. It is leaking. Okay. I'm just gonna maybe I'll change this. Um, remove and replace the master cylinder. There we go. Remove and replace the master cylinder because it is leaking. Okay. And how much is that going to cost? Uh, I'm just going to put in, uh, we're going to put in $245.67. Just uh, that's an arbitrary amount. Uh, whatever would be the amount for the repair, that's what you're going to put there. Okay. Um, we're going to, uh, and we'll put um, uh, uh, repair uh, wheel. We'll put remove and replace four wheel cylinders because they are faulty. Okay, and then we'll add uh, whatever that is. Let's say uh, three hundred and twenty-five dollars and sixty-four cents, whatever that might be. Okay, and whoops, so go back here. Okay, let's go down. We're not going to have more than two line items, so we'll just go down. Additional work uh, or service maintenance needed. Uh, we can add something in here. Let's say uh, a windshield needs replaced. To um, cracks and uh, chips. Spell here correctly. Okay. And then uh, additional work amount, let's say uh, whatever that'll be um, $279.32. Okay. Go down, tech and service notes, tech and service advisor notes. Now, here is uh, here's <coughs> where if you were to have gone ahead and thought about this in advance, you would have probably went ahead and opened up the, the actual post with the repair order first so you could copy and paste the repair, the uh, technician's notes from the repair order. So, how would you do that? Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and leave this open like it is. We're going to go ahead and go to uh, posts, and I'm going to go ahead and click open in new tab. Okay, and that will open it in a new tab. We're going to go to the new tab, and then we're going to click here. This is the post. This is where the technician notes are at. We're going to take the technician notes from right there. Right click, copy. We'll come back over here. Scroll back down. And when we get to that part, down here, wherever it is at, tech and service advisor notes. Click in there, right click, and paste. Okay, and then you can also add, oops, add whatever, whatever notes you would like to add here also. And uh, something I forgot to mention up here, let's uh, say you want to um, make a word bold, you can select it and click bold. Uh, if you want to italicize uh, anything, then you can select it and click the I for italicize, and that will italicize it on the front end. Let me just go ahead and capitalize this A. Um, whatever, we'll make that bold. Okay. And then, now, if there are not enough images, uh, if there's only five images, uh, being provided from the 
the repair order, you can select and add up to one additional image here. However, if there are already six images, then you would leave this blank. Now, the shop charges, whatever that might be, maybe you have some shipping, maybe you have um, disposal uh, fees or whatever it might be, uh, so any additional shop charges you're going to add in this particular field right here. So we'll just say that's going to be uh, $37.50. And if you should happen to have any discounts, maybe you have some type of a marketing uh, promotion that uh, allows for a discount or if there's some type of seasonal discount or if it's on an ad, uh, whatever it might be, maybe uh, they're uh, Maybe because uh, the the customer that they are, maybe they're a fleet customer, and uh, maybe they get a specific discount uh, because of their relationship. Whatever it might be, here is where you would add the discount. Uh, let, let's say you're giving them a twenty-five dollar discount for whatever reason. Uh, just add that right there, and it looks like we have completed all of the information that needs to be in there. We're going to go up here and we're going to click publish. It is done. We can click view page. And you'll see that this is what the repair order is going to look like. Uh, first line item, remove and replace the master cylinder because it is leaking. The cost, $245.67. Remove and replace four wheel cylinders because they are faulty. It costs $325.64. And then the additional work that is uh, recommended, uh, windshield needs to be replaced due to cracks and chips. You see windshield is bold and due to cracks and chips is italicized as we, as we did. And you can do that also with these line items as well too. And you can see we did that here, whatever is, uh, is in bold in the technician and service advisor notes. So the, I have this page, uh, what, what is, you, you see right here, it's a little bit, uh, it's a, displaying just a little bit oddly and that's because I have shrunk the page down for this particular video tutorial. Um, but uh, parts and labor display here, the uh, shop charges will display here, discount displays uh, here, and uh, additional work uh, actually would all fit on one line uh, yeah, if this were the right size, but additional work is right here. Now you see that there is zero in here right now and the total is $583.81. The customer, when you send this to the customer, you email them the link and this would be the link up here that you would email them. Um, you send them an email with the link. Uh, there it is, right there. They would get this, they'd go here and they would see this and they'd have the opportunity to select either yes or no. If they select yes here that they do want the extra work scheduled, then it's going to then change the amount here. It's going to add that 279.32 and it's going to change the total here. All right, now, one of the things that <coughs> uh, happens here is that this particular video is also displayed in here. Uh, we actually have seven, uh, seven images, so the first one is not displayed and uh, you can see all the captures here because so I went ahead and added some more so what we can do is if there's a particular image that we don't want to display now because we have seven uh, we can unattach that and I'll show you how to do that in a separate uh, video oh, yeah? but this right here if you did want the uh, the actual Oops. video we see it there uh, but to I be am used, capturing a video. that is how that would work there so that's pretty slick too uh, so it just shows as a thumbnail, but when you click on it, it will actually display the video itself. Uh, and again, each of these have the caption that's been uh, added in the media library area. So that's pretty much that. Now, the last part of this is that, of course, the service advisor, you, who, you're, whoever you are, your name is going to be listed at the bottom showing here to the customer, your service advisor. And the customer has the option at this point to either select, no, I decline the service, uh, to call me, I have questions, or to say, yes, I accept. Uh, either of these buttons they click is going to take them to another page with a form to go ahead and, and validate that information. Uh, the other thing before we click those, I just point out too that uh, 
any of these photos the customer can click on and it will display a larger uh, a larger sized image in a separate window click the back arrow and it comes right back so if the customer says yes I accept we'll click yes I accept it will take them to this page here where all of their information is displayed and shows the additional serv the recommended service amount and that they said yes they wanted it added uh, the total uh, repair service amount is there uh, best phone number to reach them they need to add a phone number in here it is a required field and then there will be also some drop down options here select uh, they will have to select whichever is the most appropriate and then here if they um, if they have any additional notes uh, I need this vehicle uh, in back uh, today um, or they could just simply write none in there or whatever they do need to have something in here whether it's none or or whatever it might be and then they can at that point they can click I authorize service repairs and it will send you an email and I'll show you that in a separate tutorial on how that works uh, that will let you know that they have uh, authorized their repairs and the basic information that is necessary for you and this will also be CC'd probably to your fixed ops uh, director and anybody else that it uh, needs to be uh, sent to as well they can also reset the form by clicking here. Uh, once the form has been completed, uh, again, let me go ahead. I'll, I'll just uh, I'm gonna add a, a number in here, 503-555-1212. Uh, I'm going to put none here. Uh, I'll select anything here. And then I'm going to say, yes, I authorize the service repairs. They will see a screen here that uh, lets them know it kind of a, tells them thank you for allowing Chuck Colvin Service Center to service and repair your vehicle goes through that information leaves it on the screen for a short time and then it will automatically disappear and they are then welcome to click the back button and go back to the estimate form uh, the same thing applies for no I decline a similar form but it has a slightly different information and the reason they're declining the service as uh, an is one of the required fields there um, then also the call me I have questions same thing similar type of information is displayed uh, they do need to provide a phone number and uh, any questions they have they are primary questions they can select there or if they have something else specific to ask they can enter it here and it's submitted the same way or reset the same way then click back to go back so that is uh, in, a, in a nutshell in a, about a 18 minute nutshell how to uh, how to set up and use the estimate repair form and I hope that has been helpful to you